Okay, this question is really important for understanding what is going on with hypothesis testing and how we're determining whether we are going to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Those are the two options. So what's going on here? A researcher is testing whether the average age of employees at a firm is statistically different than from 35 years. So that might be a good example where you know, we know the population, maybe the entire world or whatever it may be, uh, the average age is 35 years, and we've got this select group in terms of this company or this number of employees. We want to see if theirs is statistically different uh, from the rest of the population. So different than 35. Very important that they say either above or below. So that means we know it's two-tailed because we're not just testing on the hunch that, oh, we think these people are older or we think they're younger than 35. We just think they're different, so it could be either end. A sample is drawn of 250 employees, so I would take that down as well. Note that that's a big number, clearly way bigger than 30, so we're probably looking at a central limit theorem situation where we're dealing with normal distribution. And the researcher determines the appropriate critical value for the test statistic is 1.96. Critical value equals 1.96. Now remember, it's two-tailed, so right away we can draw a picture of our rejection region. When they say the critical value is 1.96, this is on the standard normal, so zero's in the middle, and it's two-tailed, so we're also going to be looking to fall in this tail. So we can see right away that since that's the critical value, it means if the data falls, I'm sorry, if the sample falls anywhere outside, in other words, anywhere in those tails, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. That's why this is also called the rejection region. Rejection region. Easy way to remember what we do if we fall in that area. And it's in either tail because that's far enough away from the mean that we can say, hey, there's something wrong with the null hypothesis in this case. Um, now, something to note before we continue reading, 1.96, that number should stand out as that is the number we use for a 95% confidence interval. In other words, 95% of the data should fall between negative 1.6 and 1.96, meaning that each tail contains 2.5% of the area. Aggregate, since it's two-tailed, that means our alpha or our significance level is 5%. 2.5% plus 2.5% because it's a two-tailed test. So that should be noted right away, and we should have that 1.96 memorized as leaving 2.5% in each tail. Then they say the value of the co computed test statistic is 4.35. So that's the value that we are going to calculate, or they did calculate, using you know z equals x bar minus mu over sigma, whatever. Uh, that's the value we got, and that value we compare with our critical value, uh, which is the 1.96. 4.35 clearly falls way to the right of 1.96, so 4.35, which is clearly in the tail, so we are going to reject the null. Again, it falls in the rejection region, that blue area. So if we look at our answers, it, it asks for which of the following statements is least accurate. Make sure we read that carefully. Uh, so the first one, it has a significance level of 95%. That is wrong. That's the one that is least accurate. Uh, the statement's wrong. That's the correct answer. It's the least accurate because... We, we always say our significance level is 1 minus the confidence level associated with that z value. So our alpha is actually 5%. Alpha, or the significance level, this is the sig level, must always represent the area in the tails. B is not the correct answer because it says it indicates that the researcher is 95% confident that the average employee age is different than 35 years. That's kind of a, that doesn't really even make sense either way. 95% um, confident that, yeah, that it's different, that, that's not correct, um, but it's not the least accurate. Uh, and C indicates that the researcher will reject the null hypothesis. That's a true statement, right? We say that we're way out here in the tail, so um, we're clearly going to reject. So hopefully that's helpful. Just 
pinning down some of those values, critical value that sets up the rejection region. Um, 1.96 leaves 2.5% in each tail, and the sum of those is your alpha or significance level of 5%.